Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be telling you how to mass delete um, your messages on Discord, Reddit, TikTok, really anything with one simple tool. But guys, before we do that, we also want to explain, you know, why you might want to do that in the first place. Well, one reason you might want to do it is for privacy, but more specifically, you might not want someone finding some information you've shared online at some point in your history. The problem is if this happened a year or even six months ago, it can be very difficult to find those instances of, you know, what you revealed about yourself or why. So lots of people just remove this information just to be safe. However, there's also another tool that I think you should want to use in conjunction with the tool I'll be missing, message, um, mentioning in this video. And that tool is Incogni. Now, what does Incogni do? Well, basically, Incogni is a tool that if someone finds your real life name and they type it in a page like White Pages, um, they're going to be able to find your address, phone number, and even the friends and families that you are associated with. Now, Incogni will reach out to websites like White Pages and all these other websites and pretty much request for them to remove this information on you. It would take a long time for you to just do this because there's almost like a hundred other smaller websites like white, white pages and cognate does all the work for you so i'll be putting a link in a deal for this in the description down below i think this is a great tool in conjunction to use with the tool i'll be mentioning in this video so guys what tool am i mentioning in this video well it's going to be a tool called redact.dev now this is what the tool looks like. You pretty much download it and you have a wide variety of, of over 40 plus services to choose to delete your posts, comments, likes, replies, and pretty much everything about it. It's the fastest and quickest way to do it. Um, so no matter what you use on Twitter, Reddit, Twitch, or anything like that, this is going to be your method of choice for deleting stuff. The good news is, is that um, Redact is pretty affordable. It's really only $100 a year. I would recommend getting the premium plan. That's because it lets you delete stuff over 30 days old the free plan is only for stuff that's within the last couple of weeks whereas the premium plan gives you lots of other benefits that i think is actually worth it you have um, scheduled bulk deletions which is nice so every month you could delete your posts and content um, for in case you forget there's a desktop and mobile version so that is really nice um, you have a ability to delete from every single website. Now, I think the free plan has limitations on which services. So the premium gives you every single service from pretty much website out there. And like I said, the most important thing is deleting content that is older than 30 days, which is pretty much mandatory, I think. Now it's around $35 a month if you just wanna pay month to month. But I do think the yearly plan at $100 is the best way to do it. This is kind of like one of those services. I think I would just pay $100 per year and always having it deleting all your stuff online. So that way no one could find information about you that could lead to you getting doxxed as well. And Incogni is a perfect tool in conjunction with this, um, just as a double security measure to make sure no one ever finds out your address. All right, guys. So in this video, we're going to be showing you how it works and give you some examples of what you might do with it. All right, guys, so pretty much what you're going to do is pick your plan that you want, um, and then we're going to download the client. So we're going to manually download it right here and go ahead and get started. We're going to open it up and it's pretty simple to do. Just a basic setup. Agree. No, pretty simple there. All right. Now, here we are. It has a cute little interface, kind of like Discord or something like that. Very nice. Um, so it seems to be extraction some kind of module, and then we should be starting up very soon. And this is what it looks like. Um, so we can import your accounts from your browsers to save time. That's pretty cool. Scan your browsers and add services. Um, so you could uh, let it do that. That is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do that right now and see how it works. So it looks like it actually couldn't find any accounts, which is kind of a bummer. It didn't really seem to work with that feature, but that's not really a big deal. So it's actually pretty cool to see certain things on here like Bumble, GitHub, Imager, Instagram, a lot of these services I didn't really expect to see, especially stuff like something like Spotify or TikTok. So this is definitely something useful if you're looking to kind of scrub yourself completely. Before testing it out on one of these things like Discord, I did kind of want to look around the application a little bit. So for example, you can go to settings, you could see your um, local archives, just some basic stuff, nothing really here. Um, you can log into premium, scan browser, you have your scheduler. So this is the way to make schedules and you'll need premium for that. Um, but overall, pretty simple to use. All right, guys, so here is my Discord account. Um, so let's go ahead and try doing Discord. So we're gonna log in with our Discord account. All right, we're logging in. So it seems to be we are logged in. 
now we have a selection of stuff to do. So let's go ahead and uh, here is one of my main servers lately that I've been trying to grow, uh, VPN. Um, so let's go ahead. Um, well, we do have Surfshark. I've been active in there lately, kind of trolling around a little bit, probably more than I should. Um, I do kind of have a trolley sense of humor. There's some 14 year old kid in there or something who was arguing with me about religion. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We have some of my messages. I'm talking about some kind of thing with some guy. Um, we're going to click search our community. Uh, we're going to click select all. And we're pretty much going to uh, scroll down. Let's just leave all this um, fine. But you have a lot of different specifics you could kind of customize. Maybe you want to delete images, um, links, um, certain things you've said if you've been kind of naughty. Um, but yeah, we're going to start previewing. Um, and we'll agree to start previewing. So basically you have that preview mode, sees what will be deleted, and then you also have the deletion mode without previewing. Um, so I kind of was confused there um, because it seems like you would, I think someone could easily get confused here because you're like, well, I previewed, how do I delete it? But it's really kind of like two separate options. So I just wanted to clear that up. You also have scheduled deletion and select and delete mode. But for my purposes for this video, we're just gonna delete everything. Let's see what the people in the Discord server do. All right, so we're gonna agree here and start deleting. So it's deleting right now. Let's see what happens. So as you can see right now, I'm not doing anything right now and my messages are all getting deleted. So pretty cool. All right guys, so as you could see, it's deleting all my comments or it's deleted like most of them, so I can't even see it. Um, and if we look at it, it's still going. It deletes around 0.5 messages a second. It's deleted 53 messages so far and it's only taking, it's only gonna take eight minutes. So you can literally do this for, any service out there, I would recommend the premium option. So it's, it will delete most of the important stuff from older time periods. And I think it's a good deal for a year subscription. All right, guys, thanks for checking out this video. Click on my links in the description down below if you want to help support the channel. And if you like these products I talked about in this video, and I'll see you again very soon.